AI algorithms will determine your future. Happy New Year wishes to you all. I used to tell my son that his future was in his hands and it's up to him how he shapes it. But over time, I'm getting less and less confident with that statement. The reason is simple. The world is run by algorithms and more and more of these algorithms are based on AI making decisions that will affect his life in profound ways. Many algorithms are not accessible because they're designed and developed by companies which keep how those algorithms work a secret. As an example, say that your bank loan application to start a business got denied. If you think that the bank's decision was wrong, you can go through the courts to have someone in the bank explain the algorithm that was used to make the decision. Then the bank would be able to do so because in the past, some software engineer actually coded the logic that makes those decisions. This is called the explainability of the algorithm. Slowly, these logic-based decisions were switched to data-based decisions, which is where AI comes in. AI, specifically machine learning, can look at prior patterns of data to recommend or even make decisions automatically. However, since machine learning uses large volumes of data, often with thousands of factors, the logic it derives internally becomes far too complex to interpret or explain. Algorithms make a wide range of decisions for each of us. Some examples are how much interest you pay on credit card debts, how much your health insurance premium will be, what should your next news feed on Facebook be, or even who you might end up marrying based on your profile and matching algorithm on a dating application like Tinder. Most of these decisions impact our lives. Even in the case about the newsfeed, a company could analyze patterns in your interest to find out how much of a Democrat or a Republican you are and then seek to influence your vote by feeding you news that seeks to tilt your opinion one way or the other. Or your innocuous posting about brushing your teeth only once a couple of days might lead to a potential employer to conclude something about your personal hygiene, resulting in not hiring you for a job that you might need desperately. The data scientists and software programmers who design the algorithms are often so far removed from the people whose lives are affected by the machine making those decisions. The data scientists may use real data to train machine learning models, but that data is not always explained to them. So this causes many problems. An important factor that humans use for decision making might be totally missed out, or prior data may contain bias, such as a gender bias, that influences how the model will make predictions. On top of that, we may artificially weigh some factors over others. For example, a large percentage of blacks have been misdiagnosed as not having kidney disease compared to whites relative to the population. This is because blacks have more creatinine, which is an indicator of how well a person's kidney functions. So engineers in consultation with doctors design software to correct for this by adding a factor of 1.2, which in turn made bad kidneys look good. This initial misdiagnosis caused a whole bunch of problems later leading to deteriorating health of the patient and spiraling downwards, all because of automated software. On the other hand, if we remove the factor, it might lead to overdiagnosis that could lead to higher unnecessary medical costs, which could lead to higher premiums or denial of access to other medicines, such as say diabetes, because medicines for diabetes interfere with diseased kidneys, which the patient did not have in the first place and the patient really needed diabetic medicine. So it's a complicated problem, but using data blindly to solve these at scale 
carries very high risk. Automated algorithms based on AI has another compounding effect. Say someone was denied a job because the algorithm applied an inherent bias such as on a woman from a poor neighborhood. The woman might have fought societal pressures to graduate with a college degree, but since the algorithm generalizes over lots of data, she as a data point is generalized out. She does not get the job, which causes her to default on her rent, which causes her credit scores to go down, which causes the bank to deny her loan application which causes financial tension in the family and her husband divorces her, leaving two young children at the mercy of the state, all because of a wrong algorithmic decision early on. By the time she can identify and fix the problem, it has already caused a ripple effect and wrecked havoc in her life. In a world where machines determine our future and we have no understanding of why certain decisions are made, we might end up fighting machines and have a hard time reaching the people in charge of programming those machines. And even if we do reach them, they might have very little clue on why the machine made the decision it did because often AI is difficult to explain. This is a dangerous world of algorithm-driven automation. For responsible AI to take effect, we citizens should insist on transparency and explainability of these algorithms to start out with. Back to my son. He's applying for college admissions and his financial aid will be determined by algorithms. The decision will have a real impact on his life for years to come. That's why I've become wary of saying that his future is in his hands. Maybe his future is really at the mercy of a complex web of data, programmers, and machines. One day, he might even be the programmer who unknowingly determines the future of millions of people. On the other hand, algorithms are also hugely beneficial because they can scale and they can cut out the middleman. The benefits of that in many countries is that it reduces corruption since humans in the middle cannot influence decisions made by taking bribes or asking for other favors. The bottom line is that your work in AI ML or artificial intelligence and machine learning may have a much larger impact than you might imagine. So just be cognizant of that as you develop and deploy intelligent algorithms. I believe that organizations of the future will have a whole new department that focuses on and explaining how algorithms work in the context of serving their customers and impacts far beyond. This is also a viable career for those who say have an interest in technology and law. Again, competitively positioning yourself for the future. My videos are free forever. If you see value in it and feel generous, please go here to make a donation to a cause that I'm supporting. Also, thank you to those who made the donation and sent me a note. Truly appreciate it. Please subscribe and like my videos because it helps me in so many ways. For a one-page visual summary of this video, sign on to my website. Thank you deeply for giving me the motivation to do what I do.